everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I've got a little video I'm going to put in that shows the grow bucket, grow bucket how mm -hmm. what I got from Zuli, the little beans garden. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I got a bucket grower that I won. I want to show you. I got it from Little Beans Garden. Zuli had the drawing. And what it, it, the box is right here. This is the box that came in today. And like she said, on the side it tells how to set it up. And I cut the tape, but inside when you open it, this is what it looks like when you open it. You have the, what it is, is it's a grow bucket. You need these buckets. They're um, five gallon buckets that we have. And because there's three inserts in here, I um, have three buckets. And they're five gallon buckets is what, I can't get it apart probably, that's all right. Anyway, Jim will get it apart when it's time. But I'm going to direct you to the video that shows you how to set these up. They have the water level sticks that you put in the tubes and it has a tube that comes with it and it has a, a little thing that you put over the <coughs> tube for, for um, putting your tags on. It's got the tags. I'm not doing so good to so the tags that you put on it that you mark what you've got growing. And inside this box are three of these these grow basket bucket things. And what you do is you put this on the top, you put it into the bucket and the dirt goes on top of this and you have to drill a hole in the bucket at the, on so many inches from the bottom it tells you in the thing. And then when the water is low, one of those green things will rise up to say, I need water, it would come up if it's up like this and you need, or down like this, I mean, you need water. Down. If it comes up, it means it's got enough water. So you'd water it through this little pipe. And the, none of the roots would be sitting in the, the soggy water in a bucket because the bucket's got drainage. You have to make sure this is lined up with that hole. And I'm going to put the, the link in to get to the description of this and how to put it together because it's all together really good on Little Bean's garden. She does a wonderful job. She shows you and then she shows you after she's had it for a while what her thoughts are on it and she has her pros and her cons that she wants to tell you and you'll enjoy hearing it from her and I thank you Zoom. I'm going to really enjoy this. I plan to put a hot pepper, a sweet pepper probably, and maybe strawberries. I want to put strawberry in one of the buckets because I, I don't have any strawberries. You'd think I would, but I don't. Um, but I want to put those in. And the reason I want to do the hot pepper and the sweet pepper is I want to be able to bring it in and hopefully I can keep it to, to grow all season. I'm not looking at my <laughs> lens. I was looking at the... Me and the camera. Oh no, I wasn't doing it right. Okay, let's go into my little library. It's easier in there. I pay better attention. I also decided that I would put a couple eggs under little lady. I can't put her in the timeout jail. She's too nice of a hen. I go to take the eggs out from underneath her and she just goes, ah, 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 and she fluffs her tail. She doesn't like it, but she doesn't snap at me. So she's going to be a nice mama. So if she has any babies, they should be like her. She's still friendly enough to where I feel like if I had to help her with anything, I can help her and she's not going to try to attack me and draw blood on my hands. Today, I gave her two eggs. I marked them. I have to mark the eggs. You have to mark, if you're going to give your hens eggs, and you know the other hens will be laying eggs in those nests too, because she's in the little nest. She's in the inside part of the house. So when she hatches the chicks, I will close the door and not let the other hens in, and they'll have to use the outside nesting box to do their laying of their eggs. But while they're able to get in and out, you want to mark the eggs that are, are 
to be hatched because every day somebody's going to lay an egg in her nest or she's going to steal a nest from one of the other. An egg. Or, I mean, yes, yeah, steal a nest. She's not going to steal a nest. She'll steal an egg from one of the other hens. They tuck it under their arm or they use their beak. I actually saw one before Jim made the sides taller. Put its head over the top, roll the egg up the side, and drop it into her nest. So they're really crafty in how they can handle their eggs. They carry them. They tuck them under their wing and they can walk with the egg in their wing. So when you're checking for eggs that you don't want them to have, you have to actually check in their wing area, in their arm, in their wing pits or armpits, whatever you want to call them. So little lady, even though she's broody and has been broody probably the last three or four days, I gave her eggs today, so we'll let her start today to sit on the nest. She'll have to sit there now for 21, 21 days. days. It's too bad I didn't start her at the beginning, but right. that's okay because I've made her get off and I've had her come out and eat. So she's really not been sitting there to start because they will, they will come off the nest only once a day to go eat and drink. It's really sad how they will sit there and sit there and sit there. That's why you want to break them from the broodies if you don't want them to hatch out chicks. Because they will sit there, and some will sit there till death. I know Emma would, because she sat twice waiting for eggs to hatch and nothing hatched. Then she sat and watched a hen that was sitting on eggs. And she finally, finally, finally gave up and went and eight. So she was there for an awful long time. Her her crown on her head got very pale. She probably lost a lot of weight in this in this time that she was waiting for chicks. So Emma, if she goes broody again, she will be allowed to have chicks and so will Silver. So we're going to have some babies probably. Mm -hmm. I hope they're all hens and no roosters otherwise they'll be calling my brother and say Anthony, I've got some roosters. You want some roosters for your freezer? Because <laughs> they usually go to freezer camp. Or I will take them down to the farm and let them go there. And they can live on the farm. So who knows what will happen. But I'm letting little lady go broody. So I hope you had a great day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.